Hey everybody, so welcome back to this school year. I wanna go over some Google Classroom updates. A lot has changed in Google Classroom since you probably last used it, and not just the font and, the, and the, the user experience design of the whole thing, but there's quite a bit of change that's happened behind the scenes. So I'm gonna go first from the student view. I'm going into a course where I am a student. You can see we have stream, classwork, and people. If I click on classwork, you can see my assignments right here. There it is, there's my assignment. I click on view my assignment and this page has changed for our students. What's really, really cool about this is that it gives the students a little more options. Now these are things that were created when this assignment was created. These are things that came right to me as part of it, right? But now there's this add or create there as well. So if you want the kids to, to have some, some academic freedom, to have the ability to display their knowledge in different ways, you can have them attach a Google Drive file link to something or share a file like a photograph, but you can also have them create new docs, slides, sheets, or drawings. And I think that's super powerful for you um, to kind of, to, to see what ways can they demonstrate their learning. So not just the, you know, filling in the right bubble necessarily, but can we also have the kids be creative in how they want to share something? So I think that's super powerful there. The biggest thing, especially for our K-5 students that don't have email, if they have to ask a question or something on an assignment that they're working at at home or you're out with the substitute for the day and the substitute can't answer that, the kids can now send private comments to their teachers from within Google Classroom. Now, again, like that's really powerful because our K-5 students in the district, they don't have the uh, email address to kind of communicate with you. So they're kind of stuck until they see you face to face, right? Now with private comments, you can send digital messages quickly and efficiently within that assignment. So if they're working on something and they have a question and you're not there or you can't get to them, or they're working with you know a resource teacher, all of a sudden, boom, they can send that message and you can respond and it can be helpful, right? So we definitely kind of see that as another positive thing happening with Google Classroom. They're taking tons of strides to make this a more full-fledged learning management system. And this is one of the things that they're, they're building in is that communication piece, which I think is really cool. Now, as the Google class I teach, this is your view most of the time, right? So we can definitely kind of see that. We have those options now to move to the top. Anything that's really important, you can easily move to the top. And I think that's really powerful in this stream view because everything is kind of there. And as you kind of build upon it, all of a sudden, like you hand out your study guide before the, the, the start of the teaching unit, right? All of a sudden, it's time for the test and the kids are scrolling and scrolling for days looking for it, right? No, we can pin it back to the top, we can put it up there without having to repost it, which I think is super powerful. Now on this classwork tab, this has changed slightly, right? So if you see this assignment and these resources, these headings are my topics. And we've talked about topics a lot with Google Classroom, but we have been like, it's not really important right now, right? Now, the topics, it can, it can be sorted by topic, which I think is super powerful when it comes to everything. So like if I go in and I change this, say edit, and I wanna change my topic to assignments, all of a sudden I can kind of, you know, boom, it's right here up on top under assignments. It's super powerful because what can happen with this is you can put the things there that the kids need to work on that day. No longer do they have to sort through and find those things, it's just boom. This is what the do now, this is my do now topic, right? So if you haven't done this yet, this is in the do now area, right? And if you make a mistake or you don't wanna go in and edit all of them, you can quickly drag and drop and all of a sudden it's gonna go into those proper spaces. So I think again, that's a really cool feature that's happening. Other features that are in the pipe, but not quite there yet, um, Google's working on student information system syncing with the grades, so when you grade something, in Google Classroom, it's going to go into your gradebook. Unfortunately, PowerSchool was not chosen as one of the pilot student information systems, so we can't participate in that right now. They're also going with a new way of grading using rubrics, so having a rubric creator within Google Classroom to allow you the opportunity to quickly show those different things. That's coming down the pipe that's in beta right now. And then finally, there's discussion of originality reports um, the early ones say that there can be three per semester. Um, as Google is starting to move towards a premium model in a couple different ways, and one of the things that they um, have, have introduced is this idea of originality reports. We're not there yet. 
we're not in that beta right now, so it's not necessarily there. Another thing to be on the lookout for is I have another video coming out soon about lockdown Google Forms quizzes. So taking it and stopping students from leaving that browser window where that Google Form is at to ensure academic integrity, right? So that's one of those things that is there. It's one of those things that people have asked for and wished for, and now all of a sudden it is there and it's ready for us to use. It's turned on on our domain. You can use it. You can watch the video on how it has to take place on a managed Chromebook, though. All of our Chromebooks are managed, so you should be good there. As always, if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. I am happy to help. Have a wonderful rest of your day and an excellent start to your school year.